a very good evening to you. How have you been? How has your day been? As you're watching this, it's around 7.30 in the p.m. And uh, this is the Business Plus Karibu Sana. My name is Rachel Kahugu. In this episode, it's a little bit different because you're talking about something that I love talking about. And we're giving you the pillars that will help your business thrive and grow. And today I am with David Mwangi, the manager of Cypress Park. He has been in the business industry for a long time, especially the hotel management. So Kitaka Mambia Hotel Management, yeah, this is the place to be. But today we'll be talking about the pillars that will help your business to grow. Whatever business you're doing, large scale, small scale, this is the place to be. Karibuni sana and ukitaka kutongelesha ni pale ndani ya MBCI TV Facebook page. Kwa comment section you'll be getting your feedback. Hello. Hi. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Yes. Hata niwona tukaribisha kwa sababu tuko Cypress Park. Now this has been home mm. and uh, yes, I, I'll say I love the environment again. Thank you. I'd come here every day. Thank you so much. Yes. And since we had the last episode of Cypress Park, it has yes. really grown. Oh. We've seen the grown, the beans are so beautiful. We are very happy. Yes. Yes. We've seen it grow. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much. And you manner, we want you to tell us the tips. Okay. and how to make a business thrive and grow. It's true. Yes. So, Thank you so much. Yes. So and uh, to I want to say hi to all our viewers. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, nice to be back here yeah. in uh, Business Plus. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, uh, God is helping us to establish something here right. at Cypress Park. Yeah. And it's just unfolding like a, like a book. Mm -hmm. Every page comes with new things. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy that uh, you've given us compliments. Sometimes yeah. when we are here, we may not see the changes True. Uh, or the improvements. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you mention them, then that's when we see, oh, it was not like this six months ago. Yes. Uh, yes. So we are, we are grateful. This is just a business like any other, mm -hmm. uh, which follows a particular pattern and routine mm -hmm. uh, to establish mm -hmm. and, and grow. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it, it starts with understanding what kind of business you want to engage yourself in. All right. Have proper understanding. Mm -hmm. And talking uh, about proper understanding, mm -hmm. um, let's take for example the hotel industry, because mm -hmm. now we know you've been in the hotel industry for a long time. Yes. Um, for example, I want to start a hotel industry. Mm -hmm. What are the major keys that I would apply just to make sure that I really understand the business very well? Uh, if we may focus on the hotel industry, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to start by saying, if you want to start a hotel, mm -hmm. you need to acclimatize yourself with what a hotel is. Uh -huh. Because many people have entered into that business and when they're there, they get what we call culture shock. Yeah. Because you did, for example, many people did not know mm -hmm. that in a hotel, it is 24 hours. The moment you open that door, you oh, don't close. Yes. You have to get people who are working in the night. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be called yourself to be there in the night. Mm -hmm. uh, people will come. Some of them, we have different types of customers. Some of them are very rude. True. Some of them are very proud. Yeah. Some of them are very poor. And they want, uh, they want, they want everything almost for free. Yes. Some of them they are very the important people. Notch. Yes, some of them are very important. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of ego. Yeah. Others are honorable people that you need to honor. So all those kind of things, when they come, uh, they, they shock some people. That's why you need proper understanding yeah. of how a hotel operates. Okay. You need proper understanding of what is a hotel. Mm. Right. You need to study yourself. Mm. You need to get people to brief you mm. more about it. It's, it's, it's not a one day thing. Mm. You need to love hotels. Mm. I've consulted for so many people mm. and I tell them, now you need to start eating out and sleeping out. Just because you want to invest, mm -hmm. go and get a feel from others who have done that. Mm -hmm. right. So you need proper understanding. Mm -hmm. Before even you make your mind that this is where I want to be, mm -hmm. get an understanding. Mm -hmm. Just look at the do's and the don'ts mm -hmm. of, that, of that industry. Okay. Just look at the, 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 the privacy of that industry, mm -hmm. the publicity of that industry. What is it that uh, you, you can share? What uh, is it that you cannot share? Mm -hmm concerning that, uh, the, that industry. Okay. And when it's a hotel, for example, and you have already identified that I want to establish a hotel, mm -hmm. it is there in, in your heart, yeah. then make sure after you have understood, understood it, mm -hmm. 
make sure that you are passionate about it. Yes. And last time you really mentioned about passion. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes, because many people I have seen enter into a field, especially a business field, mm -hmm. just because their colleagues or their family members or their friends mm -hmm. are in that business. Oh, yes. Uh, you remember the business of quails? Mm -hmm. People were yes. rearing quails just yeah. because you have heard that when you rear quails, you become an instant millionaire. Yeah, makes quick money. Uh, yes, I know of a relative who had to throw them out. My and they, 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 flew, they went in the bush. Because After investing? Yes, because it was in fashion, uh -huh. but they were not passionate about it. Yeah. I know there are, there are people who are still rearing quail to date. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they were passionate about it. When you are passionate about something, you pursue it to the logical conclusion. Mm -hmm. So you need to be passionate. If it's a hotel, mm -hmm. you need to love food. You yeah. need to love cooking. Mm -hmm. You need to love serving people. Mm -hmm. You need to love cleaning, because people will mess the whole thing. Yeah. They will mess your plates, they will mess your tables, yeah. they will mess your linen. You need to, to, to love it. Yeah. You need to be hospitable enough mm -hmm. that when people come, even uh, during closing hours, you still smile to them. Yeah. You still welcome mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. When people say that this food is bad, I'm not going to pay, yeah. you need to find a way of accommodating them, even in their rudeness, yeah. even in their, in their arrogance, mm -hmm. even in their ignorance. You need to, 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 to be passionate enough mm -hmm. to, 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 to accommodate them. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you look at the passion, there are passions that are developed. Okay. Sometimes you find, okay, I didn't know about this industry. Mm. That's why I was not passionate. But yeah. now because I have good understanding, oh, so it's a good one. Mm -hmm. So it's a good one. Uh, like yesterday I was discussing with, uh, with, uh, with, with one person who is, uh, who is in the verge of setting up a hotel. Okay. And when he was doing the, the background, because I sent him to do background check and mm. to, uh, to get more information about a hotel. Mm -hmm. And he came back to me and told me, oh, I even met one who's there who told me mm -hmm. that when you age, you need a hotel. If you have money and you're aging, mm -hmm. you need a hotel. Okay. Because many a times, uh, you, you, the children will be gone. Mm -hmm. And maybe even your wife is not around that yeah, time. Yeah. So you need somewhere you can enter mm -hmm. and they, they know your meal, mm -hmm. prepare for your meal yes. and you go and sleep. Yes. Many people you find, and that's why you find most of the big families, most of the uh, rich people, mm -hmm. they must have a hotel. Mm -hmm. All mention everybody, yeah. all yeah. the former presidents, mm -hmm. even the current president in the country, yes. they have interest in yes. hospitality. Yeah. Why? Because you need somewhere you can go, buy something, and even sleep. Yeah. Because they know your meal. a hotel is an extension of your house. Mm -hmm. It is an extension of your house. Because you, you find food there, yeah. you find accommodation, mm -hmm. you can put your clothes in there, yes. and then you can do even the creation yes. in that particular place. It's home away from home. Sure. Okay. Mm. So after I've, I've had, I have passion, mm. and I've gone into research, and mm. I really understand the business that I want to start. Yes. And I've already now opened up my business. Mm. So how do I go about it? And even before you open, now you've done your research, you're passionate about this, is what I want to do. Yeah. I want to establish a hotel. Uh -huh. Then you need to know where are we establishing it. Oh, the location. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, location matters a lot. Mm -hmm. You may be having a very good product, yeah. very good hotel, mm -hmm. but in the wrong location. Wow. People will not come. So how do I know that my location is right? You look at the product. You look at the hotel I want to establish mm -hmm. is is a category this or this. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to do a five-star hotel, yeah. you cannot take it to my village. True, the people I'm because, targeting. Because who, who will come there? Mm -hmm. Even those who are coming there, mm -hmm. will they be consistent enough? Yeah. So when you're establishing a, a hotel, mm -hmm. you must establish it in a line mm -hmm. of, of a particular target. Uh -huh. So that location mm -hmm. matters a lot, and that's why Location and perception mm -hmm. goes hand in hand. Okay. For example, um, I don't want to mention names because if I mention a place, people may think that I'm discrediting that, yeah. that particular place. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me just do uh, internationally. Mm -hmm. You want to go and, uh, and, and invest, mm -hmm. like now. Yeah. And you want to do an international investment. You want to do a big hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, you, have, uh, you have even uh, $100 million. Yeah. You want to invest in a big five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. So, if you are looking all over the world, you will look at where is it that 
that place, the, the location is safe, mm -hmm. the location is convenient, the location is accessible. Mm -hmm. So you will compare, for example, if you want to compare a place like Mogadishu mm -hmm. or Kismayo, yeah. would you compare Kismayo, Mogadishu with Nairobi? So most likely people will say, okay, Nairobi looks a bit stable yeah. than, than Mogadishu. Yeah. Or, or uh, look at what is ha happening now in Khartoum. Mm -hmm. in Khartoum. Mm -hmm. So people will look at those locations and say, hey, this location, yeah. it looks good, eh? mm -hmm. but most likely I'll burn my fingers in this place. Yeah. So you need to understand the kind of business you're establishing and the place you want to establish it. Okay. It's very important. Then, once you establish the, 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 the place uh -huh. that you want to uh, do your business, then you need to study, mm -hmm. do what we call uh, a study of the, the, the targeted clientele. Uh -huh. For example, in a hotel, it, it goes in layers. Mm -hmm. The first layer for a hotel, the first layer, mm -hmm. is the local. Okay. Who, is the, who is your local market mm -hmm. that can support? And, and COVID, did they uh, taught us this? Yes that you need to have a local base that supports your, your product. Yes. In Kenya here, we survived COVID mm. because of the domestic market. Yeah. If you were only uh, looking at the international market, yeah. then yeah. it would have closed a long time ago. Yes. So look at domestically, who is around you? Who is your neighbor? Mm. Is your neighbor able to support you? People who are coming from around, around your area, uh -huh. are they able to support you? Okay. Very important. No support, for example, for let's use another industry, um, from a, a small business, mm. for example, I'm selling uh, bags and clothes mm. and shoes. Mm. So for for the people around, mm. how are they supposed to support or what am I supposed to look at? You, you need to look at their spending power. Uh -huh. let's, 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 let's concentrate on Nakuru here. Mm -hmm. You want to sell bags? You want to sell uh, jewels, all those, mm. all those ladies' things. Yeah. You need to look at where the concentration of ladies is. Okay. Yeah. Then you need to look at what is the spending power of these ladies, so that mm. you know the product you are bringing them, they will afford. Yes. For example, if you go to, uh, let's say Nakuru is divided into different uh, sections. Mm. Uh, let's say if you come from from around Posta, from around uh, KCB where we have taken in, uh -huh. coming all this way. It looks like the, the west of Nakuru. Yes. So if you come all the way to West, west, uh, west Side Mall, mm -hmm. if you want to set up a shop at West Side Mall, mm -hmm. the kind of clientele inside West Side Mall mm -hmm. is a middle upper. Yes. A middle upper. upper yeah. So, for example, if you go and open a very nice uh, Mutumba bed and put it on the floor of, yeah. uh, of, of West Side Mall, most likely they will not buy. Yes. They will say, no, no. But when you do uh, this other high end, they'll buy. Yeah. But now, if you want to open a high end, and you go to Bagain Line, mm. Bagain Line, yes. toward Kingdom, Kingdom Seekers there, uh -huh. so that's a different market. Mm -hmm. You find that when you do a very nice uh, Mutumba pail there, yeah. in a day, you can go sell on. it all. Yes. But when you do it at West Side, so you need to understand your clientele, mm -hmm. so that when you're doing those bars, yeah. You know, I'm setting this bags shop mm -hmm. in this area because I know there's a population of ladies around mm -hmm. here who normally come to this area. Yeah. And when I've checked around, mm -hmm. these are the kinds of bags they carry yes. when they are yes. they're in here. Yeah. So you, you, you start with a known, mm -hmm. headed to the unknown. The unknown. Mm -hmm. All right. So I've now gotten my clients and I know this is, these are the people that I'm targeting. Mm -hmm. and. I've realized this is the right place to set up yes, yes. a shop. Mm. Now I bring in the bags and set up a shop mm. ready for selling. Yes. How do I grow? Now, for you to grow, you need to understand also your, your what do you call your financial uh, processes. Uh -huh. And with the financial process, I mean you have set a shop. Mm -hmm. How much are you selling that item? How much will it be? This bag. A bag in your in your in West Side Mall mm -hmm. will be different of a different price from a bag in Bagay. Yeah. Will be a different sure. price mm -hmm. from a bag in Two Rivers yeah. in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. It will be a different bag even in a in a, in a, in a big shop at Village Market or or, or the Hub. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you need to know your pricing. Mm -hmm. Don't price yourself out. Yeah. 
because many people price themselves out. Mm -hmm. I've seen even in hotels. Yeah. You build a car, small, beautiful hotels, mm -hmm. and then you skyrocket the price. Yes. So people will look at say, ah, you are good. But too but expensive. This, uh, this is not, uh, when you look at the location, the product, mm. and the target, no, 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 you, yeah. you, you have outpriced your, uh, yourself. Mm. So you need to get the right price. Mm. Then once you get the right price, then you, go to, you need to go to the next one. You ask yourself, who know that I am here? Yeah. Who right. knows? Because you may, you, you may be the only one who knows you're there. You have a shop. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. Yeah, it's only yeah. you. Who knows that you have very good things there. Mm -hmm. So you need to do what we call marketing and promotion. Mm -hmm. And in marketing and promotion, you need to start with where are people visiting most. Okay. You see, like now, if you want to make it, you must put whatever you have on the face on the phone. Yeah. yeah. If you're not on the face like, of the phone, yes. forget. True. If you're still, if you're still uh, doing those um, letters yeah. through post box, post, post box, yeah. I've opened a shop. Yeah. People, people will ignore you. Yes. So you need to get where traffic is, mm -hmm. and that is where social media plays a very big role. Yeah. Media houses plays a very big role. Mm -hmm what people consume, what the eyes see. Yeah. Look at where the eyes of many are mm. and make sure that you have your product there. Okay. And we have a lot of platforms, a lot of uh, online platforms, a lot of uh, social media uh, platforms. platforms and yeah. pages. Uh -huh. And that's where now you align yourself with influencers. For example, when we, uh, when we opened uh, this, this park, mm. We looked at very serious influencers, people who are following, yeah. just to invite them here, mm -hmm. come and, uh, and, and, and just ride court bike here. Yeah. We had Maina Kageni uh, riding this, uh, this train. Yes, and, train. Yeah, train and, 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 and carrying people around. Yeah. We had Dr. Ipiana when he came to Minnesota in Nakuru, yeah. just here to come yeah. and, and, and ride this train. Yeah. So those kind of things, mm -hmm. because they have a following, mm -hmm. they have a big following, mm -hmm. you, you consume their following. Yeah. So you get where there's Yes, traffic yes. of people. Yes. Well, so when you when you have opened your bank shop, mm -hmm. then you need to know what what are these kind of influencers, these ladies who do those bags, who yeah. carry those bags. Yes. You need to get them. Uh -huh. Sometimes you, you, you may need, even need to give them a bag for free. Yes. Just to take a photo with that bag mm -hmm. and say, oh, very nice shop, mm -hmm. uh, a very nice uh, bag shop that, that that I have here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to do that uh, a lot of uh, publicity and, uh, and marketing. An advertisement. Okay. Then, after you have done that, mm -hmm. then because now you're ready, business is coming, you need to tighten something we call business processes. Business processes. Yes. Uh -huh. And these are how do you recruit your staff? Yeah. Do you just get somebody from the village just because you want to help them? And before we get to how to recruit our staff, mm -hmm. at what point do I know that now I need to get staffs or employees to help me at a business? It is after you've conceptualized the idea and you know what you're setting up. You've started the, the hardware part, you're setting up the shop. That is when you know, oh, this one requires a particular person, particular type of a person. So that is when now you say, okay, this person, where are these kind of people found? And that's, that's where we, we, we start doing what we call benchmarking. Because you'll, be not, you'll not be the first one to sell bags. Yeah. Look at those who have sold sold bags before. Where have they gone wrong? Mm -hmm. So you don't staff. just sit and decide. Oh, let me just get two people and employ them because no, no, I want no, no, to. Help. No, no, it's, 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 you look at the volume, yeah. the volume of, uh, of, of of business and involvement mm -hmm. that is required. Sometimes you find a very a very busy place with very few people, yeah. depending with the with the setup. Okay. But you find a place that is big. Big like this, so you have you need several hands there, this mm. corner, this other corner. Yeah. But you find someone, a shopkeeper near to pick a shop, okay. and they're still pushing sales because you can manage. Yeah, yeah. So the, you can only be as good mm. as the people you have, All as right. good as the people you have. So every vision is driven mm. by people, mm -hmm. not necessarily the vision bearer, mm. by the people, the people who are there around. to push that vision. Those people are very important. That's why an employee is a critical component of yeah. your success. Mm -hmm. 
most of the time, businesses don't close because they were bad. Yeah. It's because there was a mismatch, be, be, uh, be, mis mismatch between the vision and the people who push that vision. Many people come into a company yeah. and they start pushing their own vision, mm -hmm. which is not the original vision of yeah. the vision bearer. Yeah. And because of that, there is always a tag of war, there's a tassel. The vision will be saying, no, 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 this is not the way yeah. I plan. Yeah. So employees are very critical. Mm -hmm. And getting good employees will guarantee you a good future mm -hmm. of your business. Okay. So get them right. Mm -hmm. So how do we get the right employees? By, you know, you started by understanding the business. Uh -huh. When you've already understood that we want to sell bags, mm -hmm. then you, know, you, you, you need to know what kind of people can sell these bags very well. Mm -hmm. You know, we say in hotels, yeah. we are a service industry. Yes. The people you put in front of people mm. or, or guests, they must be present. They must yeah. be, they must, be, they must be good looking. Mm -hmm. They must be hospitable. Yeah. They must, they must have smiling face. Yes. There are some people when you put in front of uh, of guests, even children will cry. Yeah. Children who come there, they will cry. <laughs> yes. Because they look as if they want to, to beat mm, these children. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to get to know this is my business, mm -hmm. and the person who can fit in this business. Why is it that airlines mm -hmm. get very cute hostess ah. for you to go into to work in an airline as a yeah. hostess? Mm -hmm. there, 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 there are some uh, minimum, uh, what do we call, uh, some the bare minimum, yeah, the bare minimum qualifications, yeah, yeah. So which is like... the way you present yourself. Mm -hmm. They can easily go into any bush and get someone yeah. who will come and work. Who will scare people in the in the whole in the whole flight? <laughs> yes, <laughs> true. Yeah. yeah. So you need to uh, be sure. Mm -hmm. There are some people also who you put in the front mm -hmm. of the business, and others you put them in the back of the business. Okay. Because there are some people who are not talkative at all. Yeah. They don't even talk. Mm -hmm. They don't talk. Yeah. So you can't have them in front of the guests. No, no, no. Yeah. They are boring. And they are good people, they are good-hearted, but boring. Very boring, because Very they don't boring. talk. They don't even talk, yeah. they can't even communicate. Mm -hmm. I, I, I entered into a place not long ago, and when I got there, I asked a question, and they conversed in their mother tongue, all of them. Really? And I could not hear what they were saying. So when I was, I was wondering, why, why were they put in front of, uh, of, yeah. uh, of, 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 the, of the office? Yeah, yeah so uh, it is very important to choose the right people for your business for your business mm. all right so apart from now the employees i have my employees already mm. i know the business is already running mm. so to keep the cash flow because we know in a business it's the cash flow that determines how the business mm. will grow financially mm. so how do i make sure that my cash flow will flow well and i'll get a lot of profit you, you need a lot of uh, okay apart from getting good people you need, you need a lot of discipline and that's why I had started by saying processes. You need very good structures. Uh -huh. You need, for example, you being the owner of that business, mm -hmm. you, you, you are not entitled to just take money the way you think. Because some of that money is not your money. Yeah. It's a stock. Uh -huh. It's stock money. Some of that money is customer money. People have paid deposit. They have told you, ah, we are having a, a wedding. So can you give us these bags? We want them, we want 20 bags. Yeah. And they pay you in advance. Yes. Then you think, oh, this is my I have money. A lot of money. This is my money. Oh, let me go to Masaimara. Mm. Uh, the wedding is far, three months to come. So uh, by that time, you have nothing. <laughs> uh -huh. So you start dodging people. Yeah. So you must have a lot of discipline. You must have very good processes, financial processes, yeah. procurement processes, even HR processes. Because uh, uh, labor is money. Mm -hmm. When people come into your, uh, in, into your company, they are working and they're just there. Mm -hmm. So they, they, are, they are eating into your labor, yeah. into your cash flow, mm -hmm. and they're not helping you. Sure. Yeah, so you need those very good processes that, that will help you at least manage, manage in, to some extent that cash flow. Okay. Make sure that at the end of the month, mm -hmm. when you balance the, 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 the finances, mm -hmm. then you can be proud and say, okay, yeah, yeah. We, are doing, we are doing well. Right. It's making some sense. Mm. All right. So 
I, I had a, another conversation mm. about a lady who's very introverted mm. and she wanted to start a business mm. and uh, it was actually it was a hotel mm. it was a hotel business okay and as you've said you you went into somewhere let's mm. let's just say it was a hotel yes and these people are just talking in their mother tongue mm. so for example this lady who's an introvert yes how can she like start a business in a or let's say a hotel business mm. like run uh, you, you don't you, you, you don't need to be there <laughs> to feed every gap you know you're an introvert mm. it's a weakness it is not something that in a day mm. that in a day will uh, we, 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 you, you, you graduate from an introvert to, yeah, an, to extrovert. an extrovert no, no. True. so once you understand that this is my nature this is how this is who I am yeah. then what you do yeah. is that you get someone else to feed into that gap there's a lot of good work that is done by introverts yeah. especially in the back office mm. they may not be good in public speaking uh -huh. but they be, be, be very good in books mm -hmm. very good in yeah. books. Mm. so get someone to help you get someone to stand with you and cover your weaknesses. Someone who's extroverted. Yes. Get someone who's an extrovert who will stand before uh, before men. Yeah. And 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 do the speaking. Okay. Mm. So who you are as a person, if you're introverted or extroverted. In fact, unezako extroverted, but the business you're doing needs an introvert. Mm. So what you do, you just bring an introvert at a stand-in for you. So who you are as a person yes. doesn't stop you from doing any business. Just find a way that yes. you can do that business. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So as we wind up, what is the best advice or what is the advice that you'd want to give a small mm. business owner? Maybe mtu mwenye ameamua kuanza kuza smokies mahali na anataka biashara grow or just a small business owner mwenye ndio tu ameanza. What's the advice that you'd give that person? My advice is give it a try. You will never succeed if you don't try. Sure. Just try. Just make sure that you have good understanding of what you are doing. Mm -hmm. So that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. But understand it and try. Okay. If you are doing smokies, mm -hmm. you don't need to go and buy the whole company, mm -hmm. whole uh, smoky company. Yeah. You don't need to go. Yeah. You only need to start small because the bible say we should not despise the humble beginnings yes. start small and graduate mm -hmm. gradually grow yeah. don't want to don't fall into those competition things mm -hmm. just because your friend who started 10 years ago is doing this is yeah. riding this then you want to be there in one year no no no, no. just know there's a process mm -hmm. sometimes people call it delay mm -hmm. i call it process process yes Make sure you are well processed. Mm -hmm. Because when you are well processed, then you'll be easily consumed. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're selling will be yeah. easily consumed mm -hmm. and will be easily liked mm -hmm. if you are well processed. And, and, and you will know it. Because many people that are well processed, mm -hmm. you will see them. Yeah. They mm -hmm. are confident, mm -hmm. they are eloquent, mm -hmm. and they are competent. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the area mm -hmm. of influence, once they open their mouth, then you would you would understand this content. Yeah. This is content. Mm -hmm. Why? Well because they are they are they are well brewed. Mm -hmm. It's just like wine. Yeah. The longer the years of brewing, uh -huh. the finer mm -hmm. the wine. Yeah. Yeah. So allow time to process you. Nice. Educate yourself. Improve and upgrade yourself mm -hmm. always. Okay. Because there's still another version of you that is inside mm -hmm. that is yet to come out yeah. that the world is waiting for mm -hmm. if you remain in one version it's just like an application in a phone yeah. if it remains in one version mm -hmm. it will become obsolete yes. so keep on upgrading have to upgrade upgrade wonderful upgrade. and i've loved what you say that when you're well processed you'll be well consumed so you have to let uh, time process you it's very important give it time start from where you are we've always said start from where 
you are. So today, whatever business you're doing, today you have the tips and you know what you're supposed to do to let your business grow, to let your business thrive. So yes, I'll be waiting for your feedbacks after some time, after one year, five years, ten years to come and tell us that Tuliskiza Mwangi and now our businesses are growing and well, well thriving. So you've had Mr. David Mwangi, the Managing Director of Cypress Park and also he has done a lot of business, especially in the hotel industry. Now you know what to do and uh, yes, we've had a whole 30 minutes of Business 101. Yeah, so we'll meet you in the next episode of the Business Class. Remember, we'll have a repeat of the same on Friday at 7.30 p.m. Till then, see you in the other episodes. Bye.